Hey everyone, this is Sprint 3 of my game engine project. Apologies for the laptop fan noise. Uh, I cannot actually disable that. I will try to speak up though. Um, Alright, to begin, uh, let's see. So the first step was implementing OBB collision volumes, and over here I have a demo of that. So it, as we can see, the OBB collision volumes are rotating properly, and if we fire, they will collide as well. Um, I do have one issue where sometimes it's it's apparently colliding when it isn't. Uh, I think that has to do with rotation, um, and I will tackle that during the next sprint. Um, I did not actually create my own marker or line tools in the visualizer, which is something that I'll do as well, and that should aid in fixing this issue over here. Uh, some of the code, let me get to that. Uh, back over here. Engine collision. Um, I split everything up into the visitor pattern just as intended. So I have a bounding volume, which is basically our um, our visitor pattern here, and each of the bounding volumes implements intersect with the other bounding volumes. So that way our um, collidable only has to check if a particular volume is intersecting with something else. Um, and then, say, the OBB itself will just call intersect with this. Basically the standard implementation of the visitor pattern. Um, and then I started to implement the option 2 um, calculation for the um, OBB collision volumes, but that turned out to be a little bit too difficult right now. I do have some of the stuff in place, such as the half diagonal. Um, I'll, I'll attempt to flesh that out further so I don't have to do something like this and calculate the corners, which is inefficient. Um, I did uh, make a little bit modular and toss a few things into the math tools, such as projection calculations and OBB collision itself. So that's all working well. Um, back over here to the sprint. Uh, that's everything with the engine right now, and then I'll show you the research document, which is the research proposal. So what I plan to implement is a sound engine uh, using FMOD. I've used it before. Uh, it's super, super easy to use. It's really nice. I want to integrate it um, pretty thoroughly throughout the engine, create a singleton where you can call it from really anywhere and, and get music or sound, uh, sound effects playing. So there's a link right here, um, which is in the Perforce repository that um, has a little demo that I did a few years back with it. Uh, that should be all for now. Thanks for watching.